Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna take my three deep breaths. <laughs> Hi, I usually I'm trying to get into taking three deep breaths before I do anything just so that I can make sure I show up as my most genuine loving self and I like interact and speak from a heart place and love. So I hope that you took those three breaths with me. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I have a, I'm feeling energetic right now because over the past couple days, I've been getting a couple followers. Hello, hello, new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the place of many corners of the universe. Today, I just wanted to quickly share a dream that I had the other day. My, I was telling my mom about it and she was like, you should tell people about this. And I was like, huh, you know what, maybe I will. So I'm here. And this dream has to do with, dreams in general have to do with your third eye chakra and I've been getting into that. If you haven't gone, if you haven't started the chakras yet, you know like clearing out your energy and going through the healing journey in that kind of direction, I would recommend learning about them. Um, I would definitely also recommend starting with the root because I really don't think you can skip the root. Like you can't get anywhere else if you don't start with the root. And I worked on the root for like a good year and a half before I was like, okay, I'm good now. And I know that sounds like a long time, but it's just many present moments added up. So just, you know, be present where you are. I'm definitely present where I am and like, I'm just, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. And you really have to look at it from like, you've come so far. You've done so much already. So don't focus on what you haven't done, but get excited for where you are. Like this is the beginning. I'm starting so many new things and so many new journeys. And I was feeling like kind of down cause I was like, dang, I wish I was like farther ahead. But I'm not. So this is where I am, you know, and I can like I need to get to from this part to the other part. You know what I mean? Like this. I have to go through this part. So it's OK. And I'm just going to be here. I'm just going to be here and be present. And I talk about presence a whole lot in a specific episode of my podcast. For all of the new people here, I have a podcast. It's called Roland's Perspective, and I upload on there weekly, like with a passion. You should go check that out. It's really good. It's really cool. I was trying to say cool and good together. It's really good. And I'm not even like hyping myself up, but I am because like it's really good. But anyway, let's get into the dream. I have talked for four minutes. Where does the time go? So I'm going to describe the dream. And ooh, third eye chakra. The third eye chakra. I've started trying to balance that one and you know it encompasses a lot of things it you know it's way more important than I thought it was so I'm learning about that but I'm learning through this book it's called the chakras activity book and journal activity book and journal 108 plus creative ways to help raise your vibes it has really cool like 
activities to do. It's awesome. I love this book. And one of the, now that I'm doing like the third eye, one of the, um, yes one of the activities is writing your dreams and trying to interpret your dreams and for so long I've been like having vivid dreams and not knowing what that meant and being like dang like I wish I knew a dream interpreter but I can be a dream interpreter and all you have to do is sit down and ask yourself questions I'm gonna put on some Vaseline because my lips are chapped Go. watching me but like I should create how I was going to regardless like, I don't know what I should include what I shouldn't include this is all very weird but like use my video as like a stepping stone in your journey so a quick rundown of the third eye I'm gonna be reading from the book the next leap in consciousness comes from our third eye chakra, which transports us beyond duality, me slash you, and into the awareness of a much less taxing super consciousness, all that is. The third eye has a vision that allows us to pierce life's confusing veils, you know, the whole time is a construct and money isn't real song and dance. It's also pretty funny. I like it's a It's a funny book and gives us the power of, at minimum, a strong intuition and at maximum, transcendent mystical revelation. It is the chakra of imagination, insight, and psychic abilities. And yes, we all have access to it, even if we grew up in small, closed-minded towns. And then it talks about what happens when your third eye is right, what happens when your third eye is blocked, what happens when it's over overactive key concept key concepts intuition psychic perception dreams imagination foresight vision manifestation awareness and those are all things that i've been noticing in my experiences in life recently and like it's cool that it's all encompassed in this chakra that i've been like subconsciously avoiding forever but like i'm here and i get it and i see it and we're on the right track Location between the eyebrows is what many, most people say, but I watched a documentary, a yogi documentary or something like that. I cannot remember. I'm so sorry. But it's like in some depictions of the third eye is actually above and like right here, I think. I think. So not here, but here. Or is it your nose? It can't be your nose. To open and balance your third eye, wear the color indigo or purple. I'm wearing pink right now because the moon is, there's a full moon tomorrow, so the moon is waxing right now. Is it waxing? Yes, the moon is waxing, and colors to wear during the waxing moon are white, cream, and super light pink, so super light pink. I'm trying to become more in tune with the moon, and I working so to open a balance indigo or purple essential oils include basil and frankincense and some stones if it's overreact if it's overactive emerald slash sapphire for blocked third eye use or carry diamond slash herkimer diamond and for general balance lapis lazuli lapis lazuli lapis lazuli i love steven universe yoga pose downward dog i didn't know that i've been doing that for how long and i didn't know that so now every time i do downward dog i'm like third eye and it's like intention musical key a there are songs like the vibrations of the song correspond with different chakras so you can listen to music with the intention of balancing that chakra with those vibes so the musical key is a and foods 
to eat to balance the third eye are eggplant, purple cabbage, and purple kale. So here are a few songs in the key of A, the third eye playlist, September by Earth, Wind, and Fire, Giving You the Best That I've Got by Anita Baker, and Just Like Heaven by The Cure. So let's get into this dream, shall we? All right. Dreams. Frustration. Oh, shit. Let me go through why. I'm so sorry. Let me go through why, like, the the structure of what I'm doing so that you can do it, too. I'm so sorry. This is, like, a so not planned video. <laughs> uh, dream journal. For the next few nights, keep a dream journal. Keep a pen and notebook by your bedside, and as soon as you wake up, even if it's for a middle-of-the-night toilet adventure, jot down a few notes or keywords about the dreams you just had. In the morning, flush the notes out into a paragraph or two. Circle any emotional words and note them here, along with the people, places, activities, objects those emotions were associated with. Now play Dream Wizard. What do you suppose those people slash objects slash etc were symbolizing? What advice can you take away from this seemingly nonsensical dream? And here's how an entry might look. Emotion, frustration, associated elements, a late train, which might symbolize feeling stuck and not getting anywhere, a broken phone, which might symbolize a communication breakdown, a person blocking my way and not letting me pass, which might symbolize feeling unheard, unimportant, and feeling stuck again. And then you write the takeaway, I'm feeling stuck right now and like I'm not in control of my own progress. I want to express myself, but deep down I feel that either I won't be listened to or that it's going to be impossible to get through to the other person. Or maybe my subconscious just wants a new phone. LOL. <laughs> so that's the breakdown of the exercise. You do emotion, associated elements, blank, which might symbolize blank, and then the takeaway. So that's what I kind of did. Let me get in close so it's a little more intimate, you know? Okay, dreams, frustration, things not working out. This thing, thing just not for me. I was hanging out with my friend who was in a whole TV show and was told about a pool party. I wanted to go on a walk. She came over and I wanted to go on a walk, but I was already cutting it close, especially factoring, factoring in drive time. Was I feeling anger? It was frustration, resentment, resistment in my body. I don't know what it is, but it's okay. You're supposed to be here to, what? Oh, I was telling my emotions it's okay and they're supposed to be here too. I'm reading straight from my journal entry. I just feel, I'll just feel you, my emotions, and carry on and that'll be all. No need to resist and make things worse. The dream. 30 minutes till the party started, so, and we didn't take the walk, because I was like, dang, I don't want my friend to be upset about, like, being late to this party, like, so I'm gonna do what, and I didn't even talk to her about it, I just assumed that she'd be mad, so I was like, okay, let's just go to the party, and we had already woken up, and I talked to my family members, and that took some time away from us waking up and then, like, just going on the walk, so we were pushing it close, 30 minutes to drive to this party may have symbolized not doing things my way for me because we were supposed to take the walk earlier but then i started talking to my siblings and just doing home stuff and time sort of got away and it was also like a school trip and we got there and there were hella lines but we got to school and i guess i didn't bring a whole swimsuit so we quickly packed yeah we quickly packed it home and waited in line i think and i forgot something and went through some protected hallways um, I don't know why it was like that, but I went into a classroom where my older teacher was there and I was like, can I get something from my locker slash bin? And she was like, oh, those were cleaned out like weeks, days ago. Like, there's nothing in there. I was like, fuck my life. Okay. Okay, cool. Nothing is going my way. So I went back to the bus and there were niggas on the bus already and I was one of the people that was like at the end of the line and my friend was already on the bus and I paid my $20 because it cost $20 to go on the trip. So I paid my $20 and I don't know why I didn't get on the bus, but I instead got in a car with some girls I barely knew. And I thought that we would leave first, but actually the buses left first. So I guess I thought that it'd be quicker if I got in the car with them, but it actually didn't work out like that. 
And anyway, I'm in this car, right? And the girl next to me is like, what are you waiting for? Change into your bikini. And I realized I had the top of my bikini and not the bottom of my bikini. So I'm like, dang, maybe I could wear shorts. Maybe I could ask my friend if she has extra bottoms when we get to a pool party. But now I'm like kind of like annoyed that things are going like this. So we get there and I'm being impatient and I'm not satisfied with what is. And I don't know how I got home, but I think I was like chilling in the pool or like waiting on like, you know what, this is not what I want. So I'm gonna go home and get the bottoms of my shorts and everyone get the bottom of my bikini. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, Roland, just chill. Like you're already here, it's cool. Like we're happy, we're having a good time. And I'm like, no, this will not be a good time unless things are happening exactly the way I want them to. So somehow I get back home. I don't know how because I didn't drive there, but I get back home. I pack up and I'm like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna watch something. I fall asleep and I wake up an hour later and the party supposedly started at 2. When I woke up from my nap, it was four o'clock it was four o'clock so the party had been going on for a little while and now there's traffic so 30 minutes has turned into like 45 50 minutes so by the time i get there it's five o'clock and like people are but then i'm like and then i'm i start struggling and i'm like dang should i even go or should i stay home i should have just stayed at the party but maybe it'll be fine because you know when it's nighttime pool places turn on the lights and everything's glitz and glam and fun so let me just go to the party so i get there and everyone's getting ready to go home everyone's getting ready to go home and i was felt with even more frustration so here are the themes wonky relationship with time resisting the natural flow of things and trying to force certain outcomes i could have had a good time and not wasted my 20 dollars had i stayed the first time my friend had a great time and she told me people didn't even start showing up till later so we totally could have gone on our walk okay L listen listen to this the takeaway i am always on time but have been struggling with trusting divine timing and letting things unfold as they do. I've been resisting and trying to force a certain outcome. I need to let go and be more accepting of how things go so that I can be on the path the universe knows is best for me. Also, a lot of trying to control things and to limit uncertainty. But I have now realized that uncertainty is the only reality. Uncertainty is my reality. And allowing myself to just exist in that. And really, I'm really learning what it means to go with the flow for real. And that means things may not go your way sometime and being like, Things happen for a reason. Everything happens for my highest good. Let me just go with the way this is going, you know? And also, do what your heart desires. You are always right on time. Your desire slash your heart will take you exactly where you need to be. If I try to do things the way I think they should be done or the way I think I'm supposed to or what I think everyone expects me to do, then I fuck myself up and this has been a theme that's been going on in my life recently like I've been feeling like um I'm not doing enough when in actuality I need to trust my desires and trust that my day-to-day -day things that I like to do like when I wake up and part of me is like I want to look up this video today or read this book today one thing will lead to another and truth be told like I always end up finding something that I was supposed to find and that takes me on a tangent on a whole new adventure like on a whole new like I don't know I don't know like a, like a it, it advances the path that I'm on to get to where I want to be so basically do what you want do what you want and trust that your wants will take you where you need to go trust that your heart desires the little inklings in your heart the little whispers of your heart when you're like oh you know today I want to do a little yoga or something or you know what today I want to watch this video or this movie like be okay with that I, and I think that I was really beating myself up for not doing more, I guess. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it's the way that doing those little things that I want takes me into researching some new thing and finding this new opportunity or finding this new hobby or something that I like about myself. Basically, the path unfolds as I do what I want. And it's okay to do what I want instead of what I think I have to do. So that is my point. Trust divine timing. Take that walk. You're always on time. Do what your heart desires. You are always on time. I am a Capricorn rising. I am a Saturnian. Saturn rules time restriction. Time and karma. Time is literally on my side, always. (laughs) Time is always on my side. And I'm always, like, resisting the flow of things and thinking, like, trying to get into other people's head about how they're perceiving me if I don't do things a certain way when it's like first of all ask speak speak up say something and two you're always on time Roland like the party didn't even start when you thought it was when you thought it would start so if you took the walk you would have been fine like your desires know what they're doing your desires are there for a reason you're fine do what you want you will literally be okay. That will literally lead you where you need to go, where you want to go, where you need to be. And trust that your plan is not always the best plan for you. And things going in this certain way kind of like closes the doors of opportunity in a way because there's so many fields of possibilities and opportunities and you're choosing this specific outcome that needs to happen like this because you can want your outcome of course but releasing the way you'll get there and when you'll get there is very important so that you can have the most stress-free journey You know, maybe the journey you want to take is actually way more stress inducing because of all these other things going on with other people that you have no idea about. When the omnipotent universe knows about everything, um, 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 omniscious, the all knowing, all encompassing universe knows about everything that's going on. So it knows what it's doing when things don't go your way when in reality they are exactly going your way so it helps to shift your perspective and go shit it helps to shift your perspective like how my mirror just shifted my perspective of myself i'm trying to make it work i was at uh I was like touching the mirror and it like it was leaning I'm sure you saw it happen I don't have to explain my point is it helps to shift your perspective and and go from oh why is this happening to me or bad things always happening to me or um what's another one what's another one I don't know and then going to shifting to faith and going like everything is working out for my highest good the universe is rigged in my favor the universe is conspiring on my behalf that's my favorite one because it really brings to light how there's so much that we don't know about so much happening for us in the background people meeting certain people or people telling this about this and it coming back to us The universe knows what it's doing. We only have our own point of view. And the universe has my point of view and everyone else's point of view. So I'm going to let the energy do what it's going to do for me. And I'm going to allow myself. I haven't been allowing myself to just be and to just be like present and allowing myself to be happy now because I I felt like I wasn't doing enough but I am doing enough and I trust myself I trust that I'm doing enough I trust that my desires and inklings come at the perfect time and I get a thought or I get a desire to do something like this that leads me to this and I'm guided all the time and I could do nothing all day and that's okay I still did enough Like, I'm just trusting that I'm taking a very slow-paced way to my desires, which is, like, the fastest pace for me. I don't know if that makes sense. My point is I'm on the best path for me because I'm not just trying to get to a certain place. I'm trying to grow there. So 
and you know the slower you go the more time you have to let that you let things marinate within you and the more growth you truly grow like the longer the journey the more you're gonna grow through it so you know I've just been finally letting myself chill and be happy and be okay and and like allow my own self to think that I'm doing enough and not focus on what I think other people may be thinking about me like I've been blocking my own happiness ain't that some shit like it's not even anybody coming up to me telling me oh you're not doing enough you're not doing this my mom is so supportive of me and I haven't been receiving that I've been blocking it out because I didn't feel like I deserved it for such a long time and I'm now letting myself chill I'm letting myself laugh. I'm letting myself enjoy my time off from school at home and being grateful and present and taking my time. I've been rushing myself because I feel like I need to produce something because I've been out of school. But I've been, I've grown so much and my mental health, y'all, no, I'm living life. I am living the motherfucking life right now. And there's just so much more to come and I'm on the right path and like I'm chilling and I'm supported and I'm guided and everything's good even when everything's not good everything's still good I'm always on the right path everything happens for my highest good and sometimes I don't see it like that and that's okay because the truth of the matter is it's all happening for my highest good and I'll see it soon oh I hope you enjoyed this video. Nice to see all of the new people joining the universe. Hello. I'm very grateful for each and every single one of you universes and points of view coming into my space and enjoying the videos that I'm putting here. And it's really awesome because it's like, I'm gonna look back on these videos and be like, oh my gosh, Roland, look how young you were. Look at how you were growing. And I'll see myself from a different perspective. And it's just really, cool and interesting to have other people on this journey i hope you take pieces of this video and apply them to your own journey and i hope you also grow let's grow together thank you and i will see you in the next video and hear you in the next episode of my podcast bye